In French, if you want to express a wish, give some advice, or even an order, you need l'impératif. L'impératif. Good news, it's much easier than you think in order to use it no matter your level. I'm going to show you how to use and build l'impératif today. This is what you will be able to do after watching this lesson. If you're a beginner, know what l'impératif is for and how to build it in general. If you're intermediate, avoid the biggest mistake with l'impératif, well, it's the S, and use être et avoir as well. If you're advanced, master les verbes pronominaux as well. Master les verbes pronominaux. As usual, you can download the full written lesson on comunfrancaise.com. There you can get the PDF for free in exchange for your first name and email, so I can actually give it to you. You can print it, save it for later, share it with your friends, take notes, it's really up to you, and it is completely free. Also, if you're watching this lesson on YouTube, don't miss out on my 10-day everyday French crash course. Again, it's a completely free 10-day mini course to sound French, even to the French, but it's only available on comunefrancaise.com. Bonjour, c'est Géraldine, bienvenue sur Comme une Française. Allez, c'est parti How to use l'impératif in French? How to use l'impératif? First, if you are very much into grammar, l'impératif is what we call un mode. Un mode. Like l'indicatif, le subjonctif, etc. Roughly, l'indicatif is all the tenses you already know. That's the simple one. L'indicatif. Then we have more complicated one, but just for you to know, l'impératif is one of them. Then in this mode called l'impératif, we have two tenses. We have le présent, le présent, which is what we're going to see today, and le passé, le passé, which is almost never used, so don't think about it too much. And we're not going to cover this at all today. We're only going to cover l'impératif présent. So, l'impératif is used for many things, as we saw in the introduction. It's used for an order, for example, mange tes carottes, mange tes carottes, eat your carrots, for an order. An advice as well, for example, soyez prudent en traversant la route, soyez prudent en traversant la route, be careful when you cross the road. A prayer as well, priez pour nous, Dieu de l'univers, priez pour nous, Dieu de l'univers, pray for us, God of the universe. You can use this for a recommendation in the near future as well. For example, lavez-vous les mains la prochaine fois. Lavez-vous les mains la prochaine fois. Wash your hands the next time. And it can also be as a ban. For example, ne dis pas de gros mots. Ne dis pas de gros mots. Don't swear. Don't say bad words. Ne dis pas de gros mots. Now that we saw the uses of l'impératif, how do we build it? Well, there are three things to know about l'impératif to build it properly. First, there is no pronoun. For example, if you look at the example from before, in le présent de l'indicatif, which is a normal present, le présent de l'indicatif, we should say, tu ne dis pas de gros mots. Tu ne dis pas de gros mots. You don't say bad words. But in l'impératif, when it's an order, we say, ne dis pas de gros mots. Ne dis pas de gros mots, don't say bad words. Well, it's an order and a ban at the same time, but you see my point. So l'indicatif has this too, but l'impératif doesn't have it. That's the simplest way for you to know how to build that. The second thing to know about l'impératif is that there are only three persons. We have tu, that we just saw before, tu as in ne dit pas de gros mots, we have nous for we, nous, and we have vous, vous. The vous here can be singular, as in a polite you, or it can be plural, as in you're talking to several people. And the third rule is that the conjugation is very, 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 very close to le présent de l'indicatif. It's super close. So if you're a beginner and you just remember that, that's good enough and you're ready to go. Let's take an example. Let's try with finir. Finir means to end in French. Finir. 
For example, in le présent de l'indicatif, we say tu finis. Then in présent de l'impératif, l'impératif, we say fini. As you can see, you just remove the pronoun and you're done. Nous finissons for le présent de l'indicatif. In l'impératif, is finissons. Again, you just remove the pronoun. And at last, now you know, vous finissez, vous finissez becomes finissez. You just have to remove the pronoun. You're done. As you can see here, finir is a verb we use a lot and it's super simple to build. So you know almost everything now. Let's look at a few rule of thumbs depending on your level. Again, as I said before, for beginners, just remember that conjugation is the same as le présent de l'indicatif. So that with finir, if you're a beginner, that's good enough. If you're intermediate though, It's the same except for la deuxième personne du singulier, which is you, which is tu in French, pour les verbes du premier groupe, plus a couple of other verbs. What does this mean? It means that you remove the S at the end of these verbs, as in mange tes carottes. Mange tes carottes, as we saw at the beginning of the lesson, means eat your carrots. If you think about it, in present, it should be... Tu manges tes carottes with an S at the end. And if we just remove the pronoun, it should be mange tes carottes with an S. Why do we remove it? Because in the first group, we remove the S. But again, it's okay if you make the mistake. And it's okay if you don't remember it. Because when you say it, it's exactly the same. But if you're into grammar, you have to know that. This applies to other verbs as well, which are exceptions. But I'm not going to cover that today because there are lots of them. And it's okay if you don't remember that. Just check in your Becherel, for example. If you're advanced, though, you have to know that savoir becomes sache and vouloir becomes veuillez. Because they're based on the subjonctif instead of le présent de l'indicatif for their structure. I'm quoting those verbs because they're pretty used. Savoir, to know, and vouloir, to want. Um, but again, if you don't remember it, that's okay. But if you're into grammar and you're advanced, it's at your level to actually know that. So check it out and remember it. For intermediate and advanced people, there are two things I want you to work on, though. It's être and avoir, because we use them so much. Être and avoir are special. And both are based on the subjunctive as well, which is something I just mentioned before for advanced students, but for être and avoir, this is for intermediate as well. So let's look at être. Être, as I said, is uh, based on le subjonctif. So let's look at the conjugation. Être in le présent de l'indicatif is tu es, nous sommes, vous êtes. You already know that. Tu es, nous sommes, vous êtes. In le subjonctif, it's que tu sois, que nous soyons, que vous soyez. That's le subjonctif. As I said, the imperative is based on le subjonctif, so you just remove the beginning and it becomes soit, soyons, soyez. As you can see, it's exactly the same as le subjonctif. It's pretty easy if you already know it. If you don't, it's almost impossible to guess. Avoir is exactly the same. So if we look at le présent de l'indicatif, it is tu as, nous avons, vous avez. Tu as, nous avons, vous avez. In le subjonctif, it is que tu es, que nous ayons, que vous ayez. Que tu es, que nous ayons, que vous ayez. And in l'impératif, you just remove the beginning, you remove the S at the, at the la deuxième personne du singulier, and you have est, ayons, ayez. Yeah, it's a bit tricky, but if you actually want to speak French and use l'impératif, être et avoir are very useful. So, est, ayons, ayez. On essaye? Let's give it a try. First, let's start with an easy example. Même very easy, I would say. Un verbe du deuxième groupe. Un verbe du deuxième groupe that is easy because we already saw this one before. Finish your carrots. It's a singular you. Finish your carrots. If you don't know how to say finish in French, we say finir, finir. Remember, we saw this verb before. Let's look at how we build l'impératif in French. Remember, we take le présent de l'indicatif, so that's tu finis here, tu finis with a singular U, and then we build it into le présent de l'impératif. We remove the pronoun and it makes fini, fini. 
So, finish your carrots is fini tes carottes. Fini tes carottes. Literally, eat all your carrots. Fini tes carottes. It's exactly the same as le présent de l'indicatif. The normal simple present. Exactly the same. That's why it was an easy example. Now let's take un verbe du troisième groupe. Again, this one is pretty easy. Avec un verbe du troisième groupe. Let's get out of here. How would you say let's get out of here? The verb for to get out is sortir. Sortir. So, did you find it? How do we build le présent de l'impératif? We build it using l'indicatif. So, présent de l'indicatif is nous sortons. Nous sortons. Le présent de l'impératif, we just remove the pronoun and it makes sortons. Sortons. So, let's get out of here is sortons d'ici. Sortons d'ici. It is exactly the same as the normal present you already know. Ready for a bit more of a challenge? Let's take un verbe du premier groupe. Un verbe du premier groupe, that's intermédiaire. It's not very, very difficult, but remember what we said before. How would you say buy four croissants at the bakery? In singular. How would you say buy four croissants at the bakery? The verb for to buy is acheter. Acheter in French. So think about it. Remember what I told you about les verbes du premier groupe? It's about an S thing. Le présent de l'indicatif is tu achètes. Tu achètes. Le présent de l'impératif, how do we do? We remove the pronoun. So it makes achète. And because it's un verbe du premier groupe, we remove the S. So it's achète without the S. Achète. So buy four croissants at the bakery is achète quatre croissants à la boulangerie. Achète quatre croissants à la boulangerie. Remember, you have to remove the S of the indicative form. Let's test yourself with one last example that is a little bit difficult, but is a fun challenge. That's un verbe pronominal. Un verbe pronominal, as you might know, is with a s. For example, se laver, to wash yourself. So how would you say get out of bed earlier tomorrow morning? Get out of bed earlier tomorrow morning. Again, for a singular you. The verb to say get out of bed is se lever. Se lever and se lever is un verb pronominal. So, how would you say that? Think about le présent de l'indicatif and make it into an impératif. Le présent de l'indicatif here for se lever is tu te lèves. Tu te lèves, you're getting up. Tu te lèves. Le présent de l'impératif, we remove the tu at the beginning, but the te has to stay. But there is an inversion with the verb, so it becomes lève-toi. Lève-toi. Lève-toi is the imperative for se lever. Yes. Did you get this one? So, get out of bed earlier tomorrow morning is lève-toi plus tôt demain matin. Lève-toi plus tôt demain matin. And as you can see, again, it is the verb of the premier group. So, we, we remove the S at the end of se lever. Tu te lèves with an S, lève-toi without it. Did you get those? Et toi, it's time to test yourself. Écris une phrase en français avec un impératif. Écris une phrase en français avec un impératif dans les commentaires. I want to hear from you, especially on commonfrances.com. I read all the comments and it's a good opportunity for you to test yourself. For example, manger des légumes, c'est bon pour la santé. Manger des légumes... C'est bon pour la santé. Eat vegetables, it's good for your health. If you learned something about l'impératif today or you just discovered it completely, please share this lesson with a francophile friend. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can put a thumb up if you want. You can also subscribe to the channel to avoid missing any lesson. You can also share this lesson on Facebook, Twitter, by email, by telling your friends about it and even better telling your French class about it. Maybe other students will be happy to learn more about l'impératif in French. If you want more spoken French, don't miss my 10-day everyday French crash course. It's a free 10-day mini course by email. You can subscribe on commonfrances.com by leaving your first name and email and you will get lesson one immediately. 
and it's free. I think I said that already. You can subscribe and subscribe anytime, but students seem to like it very much. I wish you une bonne journée, une bonne soirée, or maybe une bonne nuit if you're going to bed. And I will see you next time. Allez. Salut.